301, number of graduates. Uh, this file contains uh, a number of graduates from the uh, different type of school admission. And then we will uh, calculate the percentage of each different type of school. And later we will use all this uh, information to create a three-dimension pie chart. Okay, let's start uh, to calculate this uh, percentage. The first question, uh, we would like to um, calculate the percentage from the A3 to A6. And later, we will use the wrong function to the third decimal place. OK, so we back to the uh, C3. And uh, the percentage should be used uh, this value compared to the uh, total value. So we will use address. Uh, use a B3 uh, divided by the total value will be at the uh, B7. But because later we need to uh, copy this formula, and the B7 always be there. It's a fixed position. So don't forget this should be the absolute address. Uh, please uh, press the F4 function. And the B3, the first uh, number actually, uh, when you copy down, it will move to the B4, B5. So it's a, a relative. All right, and then after this one, you got a, a percentage, but we must use this uh, round function uh, and get a, a three decimal place. OK, so in front of this formula, uh, we like to choose a function. It's a round. And that's the first number. You will use this information and get how many number, uh, uh, how many decimal? Three. So you will type 3 there. OK. Then later, we still want to change this to be the uh, uh, percentage format. And this percentage format should be only have a, a second uh, up to decimal place. OK. So we need to go back to the home tab in the number format, choose the percentage. But this percentage, we don't have any decimal. So you need to uh, increase your decimal twice. OK, look at this. It's a uh, uh, two decimal and a further percentage format. And after this, we can uh, use a fill handle and the drag down only to the A6. We don't need to uh, get the percentage for this. This must be 100%. OK, so that's our, our first question. The next question, I uh, would like to uh, start to create a chart. And this chart actually is based on the value in the area A2 to B6. That means this area, A2 to B6. And we will draw this chart. Its uh, name is it's per data pi chart. And it must be a three dimension. OK, so we first back to the uh, Excel file and highlight this range. And where can I find the chart? It should be inside the insert. Here I have a group. It's a chart. And it's a pie, three-dimension pie. I have a two different kind three-dimension pie. First is a pie in 3D. And next is a exploded pie in three dimension. OK, so I need to choose this one. And after I choose this one, look at this. The chart already show up. Then uh, we need to uh, change this heading, uh, this chart title. Uh, this chart title should be uh, same as this cell. So I will uh, copy this cell and come here and then paste it. And here we need uh, its uh, uh, font size is uh, 12 points. OK, so come back here and then highlight this one and change this uh, to the trail point. That's a chart title. The next, we like to set up the position. Uh, here, we like to place this chart in the area. It's uh, from the A8 to E21. Uh, OK, I will back here and just move it. You can place your cursor on the border and the move to the A8 to the E. So we can enlarge it. But here, remember that 
stone exceed the uh, area we assigned. Okay, so to the you can uh, uh, move about here. E twenty one is actually already exceeded, so you can move up. Okay, so that's a, a position. After we set up the position, uh, we like to add some uh, information on this chart. Uh, we like to add a category name and a percentage of this chart, and we like it at the outside of this uh, chart, and uh, would be the different line. The different line that means the category name is a line and the percentage is a, a, another line. And the font size should be uh, changed to 9. Okay, let's try to find out this. And after we insert a chart, actually you can see here uh, we have a chart tool. And the first label is a uh, uh, format for this chart. And the second label is uh, maybe you want to uh, modify some uh, part. Uh, about the uh, labels, about the background, and the format is a, a special for the box and the, or for the uh, character style. Okay, right now we need to select the layout, and here I have a group. It's a label, and you can choose the data label. And because we have a lot of choice, so get inside the uh, option, and here we don't need a value. We need a category name, so you can check it. After you choose it, you can see, okay, right now I have a, a category name published, uh, public high, private high, other, uh, vocational school. And we don't need a value, so cancel it. Uh, but we need a, a percentage, so check it, look at the percentage uh, already there. And the position, the label position should be at the outside. So I will select the outside. And we say it must be the at a different line, so we need to uh, choose a separator. Should be the new line. Okay, uh, that's the option we need, uh, and we can uh, click close. And uh, after this, we say uh, we need uh, this uh, font. It's a nine, so we need to go back home and change this from ten to nine. Okay, uh, that's about the uh, data label. And last question, uh, we like to uh, set up its uh, uh, 3D rotation. Perspective in uh, is a 40 degree and the Y axis is a 30 degree. And later we need to uh, remove this legend. Okay, we will call this is a legend. All right, so we're we'll back here. First, I can adjust it. Uh, highlight this legend and then you can press the delete key. Then it will disappear. And a three dimension rotation will be inside the uh, layout again, and here you can see we have a 3D rotation. And the perspective is a 40, so you need to change this to be the 40 degree, and the Y is 30, yeah, that's what we need. Okay, close it, and that's a, a charter we need. Okay, we finished this question.